Greg Ehrenberg from Hot Chopper here to bring you the best MLB bets for Friday to bring us into the weekend. So do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then leave a comment below and let me know whatever it is that you guys are betting on today or any comments or thoughts you have at all on tonight's baseball slate. And we had a couple of nice comments yesterday. One from our guy, Z Money. He said that he had tailed the Matt Manning over three and a half strikeouts prop from a couple of days ago. That's one of the biggest money makers that we've had over the last month or so. Matt Manning, seeing the over on his strikeouts prop in like 80% of his starts, and it's never getting adjusted. So good to see people are riding and betting Matt Manning overs. And then also, Matt Messing, he bet the Cleveland Guardians as the first half winner in yesterday's game. They cruised to a victory in yesterday's contest in the Guardians. They've been one of the hotter teams in baseball over the last month and a half or so. So good cash there from Matt as well. To recap the bets that we had on the channel yesterday, went two and one on baseball bets. The football bets were really annoying, particularly because I had a Kenny Pickett under. And so I have under two and a half receptions for Kenny Pickett. He has two receptions going into the final drive of the game. And if you guys saw also one of the catches, one of the more ridiculous catches that I had ever seen. So that's going to be two catches. And then he gets his third catch with about a minute left in the game in garbage time. So that was fairly annoying from a baseball bet standpoint. We did go two and one on those bets. The one losing bet was Josh Windner under three and a half strikeouts. He pitched really well and finished with five. And then we had Johnny Cueto over two and a half strikeouts. He hit that over. It was just such a low number. It was going to be really difficult for Cueto to not cash the over there. Not sure why that line was set as low as it was. And then finally, Zach Allen over 17 and a half outs. He'd only had one start in the last two months where he hadn't finished at least six innings. So another one was just a really curious line. And he cruised even against the Dodgers yesterday. No pitcher in baseball has been hotter than Zach Allen. So that was another winning bet. Two and one on the baseball bets yesterday. Let's keep it going, heading on into the weekend. These are the best MLB bets for the Friday night slate. For the first bet on Friday, I'm looking at under five and a half strikeouts for Mike Miner. And I just don't think books have adjusted to how poor Mike Miner is pitching this year. 6.06 ERA, 6.18 FIP, and the strikeout rate is down so significantly. 16.7% K rate for Mike Miner, by far the lowest mark of his career. And he's been a pretty good strikeout pitcher in recent years, pretty regularly 22 to 25% K rate. Just not been the case this year for this pitcher. And it makes sense. He's older now. Mike Miner is 34 years old and the decline is starting to happen. That's kind of what starts to happen once guys hit this age. And if you look at his fastball velocity, also down 91.1 miles per hour was average fastball velocity last year, this year, 90.4. So he doesn't have quite the same velocity. Makes sense of the swing strike rate, not the same and neither are the strikeouts. So now let's also look at some of those recent strikeout numbers in starts, which is why this number of five and a half is so confusing to me because the last handful of starts from Mike Miner one strikeout, five strikeouts against the Pirates, and that was a start where his over-under was six and a half Ks, three strikeouts against the Cubs, another easy matchup, and then one there in a tough matchup against the Cardinals. But still, the last four starts, he's had more than three strikeouts just once. He's had one strikeout in a pair of those starts, and he's never been over five and a half. So Mike Miner, we've been projected for 4.4 strikeouts today. That's really where I think the fair line would be, four and a half, but that's not where it is. It's at five and a half. So first bet of the day, Mike Miner, under five and a half days. If you guys haven't signed up at DK Sportsbook yet, you're missing out on an opportunity to get $200 in a really easy way. Because if you click on the link below in the description box and you place a $5 bet on an NFL money line this weekend, they're going to give you $200 as long as that team wins. Now, I think here's the way to take advantage of this and bring it up on other shows this week. The team you want to bet, it is the Chargers at home against the Jaguars. They are one of the biggest favorites of the slate. I think that they are fairly likely to win. And I think that's how we want to take advantage of this of this promotion. We don't want to go bet, you know, a team that's in a 50-50 game or anything like that. We want a team that's really likely to win on the money line. The Chargers big money line favorites, as they should be when they're at home against Jacksonville. So don't take a chance on this offer on, you know, a team like the Jets or some team that's really iffy to win. You want a big favor that's likely to win. $5 into $200 when you bet the money line. Just make sure you click on the link below and bet a big favorite to give yourself the best chance to win possible. For the next bet of the day, I'm looking at an over for one of everybody's favorite players, Shohei Otani, who oddly has a strikeout prop of only six and a half. I can't remember the last time we saw Otani with such a low K prop. Our projections over at Oddshop, we have him at 7.6 projected strikeouts, the over on this number winning 64% of the time. So I have to side with the over here. And if we look at Otani's starts, he has had seven or more strikeouts in all but three starts since June 16th. So in, in the course of the last three months now, 
he's hit the over on this mark in almost every single start. And there's a little bit of a weird narrative at play about the weather. Now, to be sure, if it's going to rain and the game might be canceled, yes, that is reason to not like the bet or to not place it. If the game is either going to be cut short because of the weather or not play, yeah, then for sure. But I saw some people this morning when I'm doing my MLB strategy show for DFS purposes, are telling me Otani can't pitch in cold weather. He's no good in the cold. Based on what? Like we have no we have no indication of that whatsoever. He's made one start in the cold this year. It was earlier in the year against the Red Sox. He pitched seven shutout innings, eleven strikeouts, no walks. So, is it to say that he hasn't made a lot of starts in the cold because he pitches in Los Angeles? Sure, but that doesn't automatically mean he's not good in the cold. We don't have any sort of indication of that. So I wouldn't I wouldn't really put any stock into that. And if anything, cold weather that's usually bad for offense is not for pitchers. So I look at Otani, I just have to look at the numbers overall for the year where he's been exceptional. He's the second most valuable player in all of baseball this season, only behind Aaron Judge. And the pitching numbers for Otani have been really good. He's arguably been better as a pitcher than he's even been as a hitter. Otani, 2.43 ERA, 2.8 expected ERA. The strikeout stuff is what we care the most about here. 33.1%. That's the best mark of his career. 6.1% walk rate. Also, the best mark of his career. He's been really good. I'm not putting any stock into the weather narrative here. Six and a half strikeouts is the lowest strikeout prop we've seen on Otani in quite some time. So give me the over on that number. Now for my final bet of the day, I'm taking a stab on a, a relatively unknown pitcher in Cody Morris. He's a young guy, not really a heralded prospect, but his strikeout rate or stake, strikeout prop, I should say, is only three and a half today. And his strikeout rate in the minor leagues has always been really solid. So we look at Cody Morris, who's this really limited data on he's only pitched what is it 15 innings this year he's made four starts 2.3 all right the underlying numbers aren't nearly as good but 15 innings right we're not going to put too too much stock into that but look at all of his minor league strikeout numbers this year in triple a 51.7 percent in in a ball we had 41 percent uh triple a last year 36 percent double a last year 36.3 percent so everywhere this guy's gone he's generated a lot of strikeouts it's just really weird because the sample size on him are so tiny. The big leagues this year, like I said, he's only pitched 15 innings. He only pitched 21 innings in the minor leagues this year. And then last year in the minor leagues, we only saw 60 innings out of him. So we don't really know anything about Cody Morris. Other than that, when we have seen him on the mound, he struck out a lot of guys. And I think that that's something we have to weigh when the strikeout prop is so low at three and a half. I don't know what to make of Cody Morris, but he has a decent matchup against the Texas Rangers. Anytime he's pitched at any level, he's seemed to get swing and misses and strikeouts. So... We've been projected for 4.9, considering the strikeout prop is three and a half and his previous strikeout success. I'm going to take a stab at a really low over on this final bet of the day. So to recap my baseball bets for Friday night to bring us into the weekend, we have Mike Miner under five and a half strikeouts, Shohei Otani over six and a half strikeouts, and finally, Cody Morris over three and a half strikeouts. That's what I got action on. As per usual, let me know in the comment section whatever you guys are betting or any thoughts or comments you have on the bets that I'm liking for today. Also, before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want any more bets or any more information about football stuff this weekend. We've got our premium Discord channel. Click on the link below to get a week free access to it. Not just me in there, but all the other guys on the YouTube channel. So check that out. You get it for free for a week when you click on the link below. Other than that, good luck, and I hope everybody enjoys their weekend.